Hi my friends, today we model this part with the name refrigerant pipe which is not so simple. You see it has three sections. Sections of a pipe placed on conical faces and uh, with the dimensions as you can see. The section of the pipe is uh, 8 millimeters outside, 6 millimeters inside. If you want to create uh, this uh, refrigerant pipe in nature, which means physical, you will need uh, no less than over 14 meters length. Let's start. Standard millimeters IPT, new sketch, XY plane. We draw a vertical line of 100. This is the center line. And then we draw that conical sections one two three on the same horizontal is this point with this point also this two this is 40 this is 30 and 30 but this is uh, extra because we have this dimension diameters this is 500 next next is uh, 480 the other one is 400 and the smaller is 250 now we have a fully constrained sketch finish sketch revolve select profiles Inventor waits for us to select the contour. Okay, now we have something invisible, almost invisible. This is why I use Alt F I to change the colors from presentation to high contrast. Now we see what is here. Good. We continue with a 3D sketch. 3D sketch. And uh, we select helical curve. Not pitch and revolution. Not revolution and height. Not pitch and height. But spiral. We select a random point on this uh, edge then we have to create 
an endpoint of the helix then we have to place here some data they are 480 480 because this is the diameter of the internal circle then a pitch of 5 and a number of revolutions 2 the direction of rotation is reverted because we want to have a rotation to the right not to the left okay you see we created a plain sp spiral starting from a random point I'm not happy with random this random this is why I select the plane XY I make it visible and I make inside of this environment of 3d sketch I place this end point on the plane yes now you see we have a certain start for this uh, spiral finish sketch now I create a new 3d sketch because I want to project this spiral on this conical face to do this I select not silhouette to do this I select project to surface inventor asks me about the faces this is the face where I want to project the spiral what to be projected this curve and what is the direction the direction is the axis Y okay now I hide the other 3d sketch and you see the deployment of this spiral from this very point to this very point both on the XY plane and both on their uh, circle very interesting isn't it this is my copyright my friends to create this combination of uh, spirals and 3d sketches this was the first section yes I created the spiral from this point to this point on 40 millimeters We continue with the next section. The data are here. We use this line and now we use the next line because we want to create a section two. Section two is placed on this conical face. So we start a new 3D sketch, helical curve, rotation, in the other direction spiral we select a random point on this circle we select the the axis then dimensions this is 400 
this is also 10 millimeters and this is four revolutions okay finish sketch you know why I apply finish sketch and then start new sketch because this will be hidden by fortune I selected not a random point but exactly this point this is very good okay now I use project to surface what is the face this is the conical face what is the curve this is the curve and what is the direction of projection y axis okay I hide the previous sketch 3d sketch and you see I have a continuation of the section one spiral uh, this is not a spiral this is a helical curve in fact we obtain here a helical curve good the third section has uh, this line of data 250 is the diameter the internal diameter not the external one good new 3d sketch helical curve other direction spiral uh, i select a random point on this circle I select the vertical axis then dimensions 250 10 is again and 7.5 for this okay now the start point is somewhere here I don't need uh, this plane visibility and I place the end point the upper end point which is this one over the last point of the other section good finish the sketch start a new sketch with uh, the known procedure what is the face now this is the face what is the curve or curves this is and direction of projection is uh, the axis y okay we hide the previous uh, sketch and we have all that uh, helical curve is this not spiral curve very nice we close this last uh, 3d sketch and we want to start from this point with the sweep we'll use the sweep tool by selecting this point end point and this uh, curve this is the base for a new sketch the new sketch must contain this point my friends let me take another position yes if you don't uh, select this you cannot start the circle you can create a 
a circle here, of course, but uh, this is not our goal. Circle eight millimeters, another circle of six millimeters, as in the drawing, as you see here. that dimensions finish sketch hide the plane and we apply sweep sweep of this area between the circles inventor waits for us to select a curve this is the curve We wait a while and we have the result. Yes. Okay. Very good. Now we hide the revolution surface and Alt F I to come back to the presentation okay the material is copper C copper alloy as you can see yes let's see if we respect the volume I properties physical update and copy close drawing double click and the value it is identical my friends cancel I keep the previous value because it is the same with the new one now you see the result which is very interesting in my opinion that's all for today thanks for watching bye